Hello. I hope you're all having a stupendous Sunday. Greg and I are hiking somewhere near the base of Mount Eldon and it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can show it to you. There we go. The lighting is so pretty here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's having a great time. So I just wanted to give you some inspiration for going out for your elementary children, uh, six to 12 year olds, with the pandemic and everything else that's going on during these interesting times. I just wanted to encourage you to do your best to foster independence and grace and courtesy with your children. Take advantage of every opportunity to be in nature and help them reset themselves so they can feel more peaceful and practice more mindfulness. Hiking, um, there's so many amazing things that you can do without being around a lot of people. Um, we have been, we actually looked into going to a museum because there are days, especially during the summer when you can travel, there are certain days when there are hardly any people there and you can basically have the whole place to yourself. It's really beautiful. Um, let me know if you have any questions about, you know, going out. Um, if you're looking for inspiration or ideas, I'm happy to help. This is... Um, <coughs> just a snapshot of going out videos that I'm going to be doing um, as a small hi as a simple beginning um, I have an entire series on going out um, I have you know theory in the elementary Montessori classroom on going out and the science behind it and how it helps in the development of your children all sorts of different ideas and concepts the key is to allow the child to take place in the experience and give them prepare the environment so that they can guide themselves so here's a great example let's say you decide that you're going to do a going out with your children let's say there's three of them you give them everything that they need to be successful you come along and you observe Let's say that you decide to take the city bus or your children decide we'd like to take the city bus to go to the library, for instance, and we're researching a particular topic. And as they're taking the city bus, they miss their stop. It is imperative that you, let's, I'm trying to think of the word, you evaluate the situation to determine whether or not the children are safe. You're there with them. If they are still safe, give them the opportunity to determine what they did wrong and to come together and reevaluate to figure out where they need to go to get to the library. Even if they miss their stop, give them the chance to look at the map and be like, oh, wait a minute. Now, if it ends up being, <laughs> if you're in a big city and it ends up being several miles away from the library and, you know, you're approaching dinner time of course they may need a hint or two <laughs> but I hope you understand where I'm going with this give the child the opportunity to learn from their own mistakes and take the responsibility of the situation into their own hands always feel free to ask a Montessorian and thank you so much for watching this video